Okay, I'm calling this exercise caretaking because, in fact, what's incredibly important about the dynamics of the exercise is the way in which an actor both takes command of the space and gives their body and their trust to the external actors. And those people who are on the edge of the space, who are literally caretaking the protagonist, the central figure, are incredibly alive to every moment, to every move that that actor makes. We're working with the veil because, in fact, that's helped us become much more precise and clear with our bodies. We can no longer rely on the facial expression and the social space to communicate. We have to rely on every part of our bodies, whether it's our hands, our toes or our spines, to express what we want to do. And the external actors have to read that body very carefully. What's also very interesting in this exercise is the way, for me anyway, is the way that the different actors who take the middle of the space as the protagonist um, interpret the exercise. Every one of them, you'll see, responds slightly differently to the responsibility of being in the middle of the space. So you'll see that the exercise slightly changes according to who's in the middle. On the outside, you'll see also that the actors are never completely planted. They're always on the edge of movement, always ready to respond. But it's also important for them not to crowd the central actor, because that actor has to be absolutely free to move in whatever way they want to. When you're watching the exercise in the space, you can feel that the space is very alive. It's partly created by the articulation of that central actor and the way that they change the dynamics of the movement and their energy and their tempo rhythms. But it's also created by the attention of all these people on the outside responding to that protagonist's movements. Thank <laughs> you.